and Life Urban Ministry, where faith and activism meet. Here's your host, Brother Leon Prophet to the streets and pastor to the people. What's going on, my good people? Truth and Life Urban Ministry. What is going on? I am your pastor, Pastor Leon Prophet to the streets. Pastor to you good people Let's go on in here Father Lord God We lift up to you right now In the name of Jesus Will Smith We lift up the Smith family In the name of Jesus We lift up the Rock family In the name of Jesus And we ask right now Lord God That the spirit of grace That the spirit of wholeness And soundness and peace Will be upon that family In the name of Jesus Because, Lord, you called us to be merciful. You have called us to give grace. And so, Father, I pray for them right now. I pray for them right now, Lord God, because the enemy and the world and people with opinions would allow this time to be weaponized to go after these great men. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of cancel culture. In the name of Jesus. And I just decree in the name of Jesus that all things will get will begin to work for their good in Jesus name. That no projects will be canceled, that no shows will be lost. But if anything, that this will be a learning and a teaching moment in the name of Jesus. So let's go on in this piece because I already know, man, that. We've seen it. We we we've heard the audio. We've seen the 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 pictures, the memes. You know, and I ain't gonna lie, I'll put them out there because at first I thought this was not real. I thought it was staged. But come to find out it was real. And so it just I think the one thing that I see with this is that you see a person's humanity. And I think a lot of times when we begin to see people's humanity, we begin to see, man, the type of life that they live, the pressures that they have, the demands that they have put upon themselves, the things that they have done in their career to get them to a certain level. But a lot of times when you are on that certain level, there's the pressure of being at the high altitude. There's the pressure of performance. There's the pressure of always having to be strong. And so the one thing that I want you to understand and see and know is don't forget the humanity that is on both of these men's lives. Don't forget the humanity of one man's wife. Do not forget the humanity of another man whose art is very priceless and exceptional. Both of these men are artists. Both of these men are creatives. And don't you think for one instance that the devil does not want to take and mess both of them up? Yeah, the devil does. Just like he comes against you and your house, he's coming against them and their houses. So not only do we have to also keep him in prayer, but also keep Kanye West in prayer. Keep that whole thing with him and Kim Kardashian in prayer and begin to give grace because man yo everybody's giving opinion but who is giving grace everybody is giving opinions but who is giving grace I'm giving you grace because man look anybody can mess up everybody has a breaking point I give you grace because you have self control That when another person comes out of pocket, you can still keep it going and even play it in the audience to the audience that you're in front of and still get a laugh out of a jacked up moment. But the one thing I want to tell you is this, is that people will use this moment. People will begin to use this moment to take and solidify their racism and prejudice. See? Let these niggas in here now This shit starting to look like the Source Awards Now this shit starting to look like BET This is the Oscars So 
I'm telling you right now that this is where we are. I give these men grace because if you look at the life of Will Smith, his family has been under the gun for the longest. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they live their lives out in public. But a lot of times, man, the one thing about people that you're going to learn is that sometimes people internalize stuff. And sometimes people get to the place where they didn't have enough. And I think this was that night. And so you have to understand and know that when the enemy comes, he will a lot of times come at you when you are at your highest moment. And a lot of times when you're at your highest moment, that is when the test of character comes. The test of integrity. The test of honor. To see if you deserve to be where you are. Because a lot of times you can enter into rooms But it'll be integrity that will keep you in that room. It'll be honor that will keep you in that room. Do I understand why Will Smith did what he did? Yes, I do. I think a lot of times we have to look at what's at stake. Because I do believe that legacy is at stake. I do believe that there are certain moments in time that you may not be able to visit again. And so a lot of times you have to be like, yo, We got to focus on the moment. So I'm just going to give my opinion because I I very well believe that it could have been stopped if Jada would have been like, yo, Will, ho, ho, ho. It ain't that serious. We can we can talk to Chris later on. And Will would have went on to get his award. There wouldn't have been no slap. It wouldn't have been nothing. It would have just been Will Smith wins Oscar of the year. Oscar of the year for for King Richard. It would have been that. But instead, it's the slap. And not for the fact that he has played numerous characters that were Oscar worthy. But now it's the slap. And the slap is taking precedence even over other people's awards. And the praise and the sacrifice that they've given to get such awards, such as Quest Love. So... This is the reason why I say we need to give people grace. Because once you put a person on that pedestal, you take away their humanity. And I ain't gonna lie, some people want to be on that pedestal. But the best thing that you can do for a person is allow them to be them. Allow them to be human. Allow them to be the man who they are supposed to be. The human. The man. Mr. Smith, Mr. Rock, the man that isn't perfect, the man that has stress and troubles just like everybody else, the man. But give that man grace to make mistakes. Give that man grace to be human. And take your mouth off for him. Take your mouth off for her. Stop talking about cancel culture. Stop comparing Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Stop comparing this moment with the moment of of Dave Chappelle and Sticks and Stones and Closure. This is not that. But I'm hearing people talk about we need to cancel. We need to cancel comedy. And I'm like, it is not that serious. Comedy is free speech. And I look at it like this. Everybody that said off humor jokes, off color jokes, jokes that have been funny. That's why they got roasts. I look at Barack Obama and how he had to conduct himself for X amount of years. I'm like, yo, if anybody should have been able to slap somebody, should have been him. Should have been Michelle. After some of the things that some of these ignorant people have said. So, I think the one thing that I want you to see is that we have to give people grace. And that's the God knows truth. And I want to play for you the audio from that moment, uncensored. 
You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. You put my name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name. Out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you heard it for yourself. Let's go on back in this piece. The one thing that I want you guys to understand and know is this, is that at the end of the day, you know, we, how can I say this? We do have breaking points. There's just some lines you just don't cross, but you also have to look at what will be the consequence. What will be the consequence? Seriously, what will be the consequence? Of, of the action what will be the consequence and I think a lot of times we don't look at that we don't look at the consequence we don't look at okay what will be the outcome afterwards because I let myself get out of pocket but this is the reason why we need to give grace we as fans and I will ask even the Academy Award give grace Give grace to Will Smith. Give grace to Chris Rock. And I love the fact that Tyler Perry came to console Will as well as Denzel Washington. Because that is what matters. Is the wisdom that you get from it. And that you will have brothers that will come to you in that moment. And say, yo man, we got you. We got you. And I love the fact that Denzel even said to Will is that sometimes the enemy comes the devil comes at your highest moment and so this is the reason why man we give grace because we don't know what's going to happen when we get to our highest moment and the devil appears and you may ask yourself well how come it didn't appear on the lower level it did appear on the lower level but we were able to fight him off but the enemy man he is resilient he keeps coming and he will come and plant seeds and plant things and plant people on every level that you're going on. Because I'm going to tell you, in life, you will never get on a level that you will not see a devil. And that's the God knows truth. So, that's why we pray. That's why, that's why we also have to know that in our holiness... That we take and still embrace our humanity and know that we do get weak, but we also have God who has given us grace. Because Paul, he sought the Lord. That, that, God, take this from me. And he besought the Lord three times. But God said to him, my grace is sufficient for thee. So I give Will Smith grace because... In weakness, he will find a strength that he has never known before, or even seen before. I give it to Chris Rock because he's now going to have a strength that he's never known before or even seen before. So I give him grace. And yeah, I've given my opinion on, on what I believe. I believe everybody has a breaking point. And I commend Chris Rock because he could have very well went left. He could have very well been like... Oh, nigga, you want to slap me? Nigga, you should have been slapping August. 
And that could have very well erupted and went someplace else. So, the fact that he held himself and the fact that he didn't even want to press charges says a lot. And so I want you guys to understand and look at the fact that we still have men today that walk in character. We still have men today who are still integral. But we also have men who who are human. They're not robots. Yeah, they may be our superheroes. They may be everything that we wish we could be. But yet, man, I still honor you. I still love you. And I embrace you. Will Smith, Chris Rock. Peace. When you have truth in life, you have freedom. Follow Truth in Life Urban Ministry on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Like, share, and subscribe to Truth in Life Urban Ministry. Will Smith, Chris Rock, this for you.